Today is Tuesday, the 10th of November, and we're fishing Shoreham Beach. What's going on people? Down shore and beach. No one about. It's about four o'clock now, high tides about seven o'clock. Come straight from work. Had all my gear in the car. Just a one mackerel and squid in there. So that's the bet I'll be using say. Um today. I'm going to try to catch some white in, do some live baiting. The sea's been pretty flat for the last week or two. It's pretty clear as well. So in my eyes, that's what you sort of lure fish with, clear water. So live baiting is way forward for me today. The only thing is, slightly small tides. And the beach layout, it's changed quite a bit around it. It's pretty flat and gradual. See the angle a bit more. I'm guessing where it's been so calm for a while and the tides are small, it hasn't come up this far, so it hasn't really eroded away the beach. But I'll get us out and I'll show you what rigs I'm using. Okay, first rig, it's going to be my left hand rod, white tip. Just done a pulley rig with like a live bait rig, so it's just got a small hook below a bigger hook. This is only a size 3 uh, I think it's a mustard big gun hook. It's a like, circular sort of hook. I watch quite a lot of um, American fishing, and even when they're live baiting, they don't seem to use massive uh, hooks. I know over here we sort of use like 5 O's and stuff like that, and big like shanks. So I thought I'd try to give that a go. They always seem to have a good, decent hook up and stuff, and get like a lip hook, not a uh, gut hook. So I don't know, I'm going to give that a go. And I'm just going to whack that one out as far as I can. And hopefully Mr Whiting will take the small hook, stay on there. And Mr Bass or Congo will come along and take the bigger hook. But let's whack it out and see. Okay, second rod, the one on the orange ship. Just using a one up, one down rig. Just chunk the macro in the hook. Try and find some whiting to use the bait. The sun is starting to come down. Hoping there's going to be a nice sunset for you guys. This time you normally get some really nice ones over the sea, so hopefully it could be in for a treat. No rattles yet on the other rod, but this one I'm just going to hammer out as far as I can. No obvious bites. Had a few little rattles on the right hand rods, so I'm not too sure what they were. Hoping they're really small white and about four or five inches long. They are ideal sort of uh, live bait size. As you can see, it's getting dark now. No beautiful sunset tonight, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully now, fishing should switch on now it's getting dark. I just had my first proper bite on my right hand rod there with a red tip. Don't know it's going to go off again. Definitely looked like a white and bite. If it goes off again, I'll take it in and get some live bait on the go. Well, I finally got a white in. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. A bit embarrassed to say that. But it's a good size one, uh, probably about seven or eight inches. So that'll be going straight in the live bucket, just for the time being, so I'll get a couple more, and then it'll be going out for bait. Okay, another white in. That had been out two, three minutes. So I'm guessing the plagues are coming in now. But it's another live bait size, so that'll be going in the bucket as well. Red light tip keeps rattling away again. Must be another white in. So I'll take this one in and then start live baiting them. This one's a bit big, just over a foot long, I would say. So this one I'm going to chuck back, but we'll start live baiting anyway. 
Okay, I've just done another running ledger. This one's got the wire trace on it. Big 5A. Just through the top lip. And that's just going to go out about 20 yards or so. Not that you can see the sea at the moment. But yeah. That's what I'm going to do this one. So it's going to be the one with the red tip. 20 yards out. Live bait. Let's do it. Okay, both my rods. Both have whiting on. They're both flattened away. So now it's just a waiting game for them to go berserk and double over hopefully so just gonna sit back now and see what happens I did just have a really raspy bite on my left hand rod you might not be able to see the glow tip I don't really want to turn my head torch on just in case I speak whatever it was but it was like something chased the white in it was a lot more aggressive than a white in battle I'm just hoping it progresses or it comes back and hits it again whatever it was Alright guys, half an hour tide tide now. No more big rattles, just the odd little one from the whiting. So I'm still sitting here just waiting away. It's time to get a few big swells just coming over a little mound here. But nothing to move back really. Really pleasant night, um, no wind, quite mild still. So I can't complain about that front. And yeah, it's just a waiting game. I think someone else fishing a bit further towards the arm. But that's about it, no one else around. A few lights down at wide water in the distance. But fishing front wise, nothing yet. All right guys, it's high tide now. Still nothing. Just a little battles on the wire tin. Wind's slightly picking up. But it normally happens a little bit at high tide as well. Um, yeah, not much else happening. Just shine my tripod for you guys just something to look at instead of blackness <laughs> I don't know I don't know what to do really um I think I'm only gonna fish for another half an hour or so because I haven't had anything to eat and I've been at work since 7 a.m so it's a bit of a long day but I'm thinking maybe in the future I might try and catch some white in and then maybe go to a different location maybe go up the river or something like that so I think that's the way to escape the plagues of whiting and then they bass and things like that can single them out but I think all the time there's big plagues so they're just sport for choice aren't they mate? what's the chance of your one getting taken when there's hundreds of others there with it that's my theory anyway could be completely wrong but we're going to count fishing for another half an hour or so see what happens okay. I'm slowly going to start packing away. You can see, that's a hook above a smaller hook. Maybe a bit too far away. But this whitens no more anymore. But you can see the idea. The bass will come along, take the whiten, and hopefully look hook in the big mouth. But no, no damage on it. I think it's just died. But I'm going to chuck this one back. Okay, here's the second world. Just taken back in. White is still hooked. So I know hooking up is okay, but they're not coming loose or anything like that. So that's a good sign. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to try this again? But maybe catch white in from, say, here, then maybe go up the river with them and try elsewhere or something like that. Um, not too sure when I'll be out again. Hopefully, maybe the weekend, hopefully. But yeah, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching guys.